Hey YouTube, come here, I need to tell you something. Okay guys, let's play a game here. There has been one ever so slight change on YouTube and I want to see if you guys can guess what it is. Did you get it? Yeah, that's right, YouTube's non-existent brain decided that it was a good idea to hide dislikes. In fact, YouTube seems to rather hate dislikes as they're not only hiding them, but they are sometimes even flat out lying about the amount of dislikes your video has. Take a look at this example. No dislikes here, right? But if we look at the like to dislike ratio on their engagement, it suddenly isn't 100%. But wait, I thought I had no dislikes. Spoiler alert, the video did have a dislike like every single one of my videos which YouTube flat out removed. Until a few days later when I got it back, thank fuck. Now you might be wondering why am I bitching about having dislikes removed from my videos. And that's because dislikes help in the algorithm as much as likes and I want to get monetized to make the easiest money of my life, I've been doing this YouTube shit for fuck knows how long and my channel is dead as fuck. Now I know exactly why they fight dislikes so much and it's not what they say. To show you this, let's respond to this heaping pile of shit. This video is one of the most retarded ones I've seen in a long fucking while, so let's get to it. Hey folks, you may have seen a while back that YouTube announced it was experimenting with making dislike counts private to only the creator of the video. By experimenting, you mean gradually introducing the change. First to users that weren't signed in, then unverified accounts, and now finally everyone. Spare us the bullshit, you knew what you were doing and it wasn't an experiment. But this is not the only time you'll be disingenuous in this video. As we shall soon see, it will be a repeating pattern. Now, if you're like me, you were surprised by that. I mean, I've always thought seeing the number of dislikes on a video helps us know as viewers if it's a good video or not, if it's a helpful tutorial or not, or if what a creator is, is saying in their video is generally agreed with or not. Yes, and all those positives you just listed heavily outweigh the downsides of potential hate mobs if you can even call them that, because most of the time that happens, it's within good fucking reason. And if it isn't justified, that usually results in the video getting what I like to call pity likes. To explain what I mean by that, if a video has a 85% or lower like to dislike ratio in my experience, it leads to more people liking the video that otherwise wouldn't have, which results in a massive algorithm boost. But unfortunately, research teams at YouTube have found there's this whole other use for disliking a video that I had never experienced as a creator and you may not have either. Yep, here we go, here we fucking go. You don't need a YouTube research team, and they didn't do any fucking research, let's be honest here, to tell you that if a creator did something bad or made a bad video, that they will get dislike bombed. Also this brain dead motherfucker just admitted that he hasn't experienced dislike bombs and acknowledges that an overwhelming majority hasn't either. But don't you worry man. You now got to experience it, so yeah, GG, you played yourself. Apparently groups of viewers are targeting a video's dislike button to drive up the count, turning it into something like a, a, a game with a visible scoreboard. And here he is being disingenuous again. You can notice how much he's trying to downplay this shit. But it's okay man, we already established that you are very slow, so let me repeat this for you. If a creator does something shitty, or makes a bad video, they will get disliked. If an innocent person gets a lot of dislikes on their video, they will also get a bunch of pity likes, and it's an absolute win. But please enlighten us how dislikes are the scum of the earth. And it's usually just because they don't like the creator or what they stand for. Really now? Who told you that? Was it the research team? No fucking shit Sherlock, if a creator has a bad take or did something shitty, people will not like that creator. You don't need a fucking psychologist to tell you that shit. That's a big problem when half of YouTube's mission is to give everyone a voice. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Half of YouTube's mission is to give everyone a voice. So to accomplish that, they will remove a feature that allows creators to voice their disapproval of a video. Who wrote this script? And who approved of this? Like fucking shit man, if these are the type of people YouTube hires, then I should apply for CEO right now. Shit, where's the form? So earlier in 2021, YouTube experimented with making the public dislike count private to see if it would help reduce these coordinated dislike attacks across the platform. 
You weren't fucking experimenting, you were gradually introducing the change. You already lost most people watching this shit, so just come out and say it. And after analysis, they did see a reduction. Then post your analysis. Come on. If it did happen like you claim it did, and if it did give you the results you claim it did, then post it publicly. Where's the problem? Where is the problem? Oh, wait, I know where the problem is. The analysis doesn't fucking exist. So, the update from YouTube is that the dislike button is staying, but the dislike counts will now be private. Hold up, I thought you wanted to protect people from targeted dislike attacks, yet people can still see their dislikes as soon as they load into Creator Studio. What's up with that? Isn't that your mission? Because if it is, then... Mission failed! We'll get them next time! And yes, this is just another one of their lies. This change is not to protect the creators from mean dislikes, it's to counter every positive aspect of having a dislike count that he listed earlier. Why? Because of the top tier horseshit videos on YouTube that contain so much fucking metan that you can suffocate in seconds. And yes, if you guessed I was talking about political videos and shield news reports, you'd be right. Politicians are confirmed to be some of the most retarded people on the planet no matter which side they're on, so no fucking surprise these YouTube videos that cater to them get dislike bombed to fuck for good reason. And that is what YouTube wants to stop. You can still dislike videos and that action will be used to tune your own recommendations. Oh bull fucking shit, every time before this change that I got one of those political news videos on my homepage, I clicked do not recommend this channel. After this change got to the point it is right now, I got about 3 or 4 times as many of those videos on my homepage. So spare me the bullshit that I can tune my recommendations when this entire decision is made to push those videos. And I swear to fuck, if I see one more of those videos, I'll ram it straight up your fucking ass. But you won't be able to see the dislike count. Only the creator can find it on the back end if they want. Yeah, it's more like if they have eyes, since it's plastered on the videos tab. And this just goes to further support my point. Now, a few common questions we saw from the initial experiment. First, without a public dislike count, how can viewers tell if a video is worth watching? Again, I kind of have this question too, but it turns out that while viewers might use the dislike count to give them a sense of a video's worth, when the teams looked at the data across millions of viewers and videos in the experiment, they didn't see a noticeable difference in viewership, regardless of whether they could see the dislike count or not. In other words, it didn't really matter if a video had a lot of dislikes or not, they still watched. And if you needed any more evidence to confirm that their experiment doesn't exist, here you go. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that if a video has a bad like to dislike ratio, that you'll expect a bad outcome. And if you expect a bad outcome, you'll click off faster. This isn't exclusive to YouTube videos, or even videos for that matter. This is how expectation works, so please spare me the whole experiment talk. Next common question. If creators can still see the dislike count on the back end, how's that any different? It's not. They just don't want their users to know if a video is dog shit for the reasons I already went over. They can see it if they look for it inside Studio Analytics under the Engagement tab. And under the Videos tab, which is 20 times more accessible. You'd have to be blind not to see it. So either YouTube doesn't know how their own creator studio works, or they are trying to hide something. And it's obviously the latter. But overall, it's much less likely to cause stress and embarrassment if the count isn't visible to the public. They should feel embarrassed because if they managed to get dislike bombed, they obviously did something shitty. And if they didn't do anything wrong and still got dislike bombed, that's where pity likes come in, fixing the like to dislike ratio and heavily boosting the video. Funny how their quote, experiment, didn't show any of that. Almost like it doesn't exist. And one more common question, is this because YouTube Rewind got lots of dislikes? Mm, likely so, but it's more likely that it's because of all those political shield videos. No, although there are some teams internally who have learned the hard way what it feels like to get lots of dislikes. Yourself included. Now, this again is about protecting all creators and making sure they have a chance to succeed and feel safe in doing so. Dislikes help people succeed. Look how many hate bait channels exist. Also, you're not making anyone feel any more safe by privating dislikes. Creators can still see them. All right, so that's the update. I hope it doesn't cause too much frustration. Honestly, I think you're going to get used to it pretty quickly. And keep in mind, other platforms 
don't even have a dislike button. Yeah, and those platforms are filled with degenerates. Prime example, Twitter. I'm dead serious when I say, if Twitter shut down today, the world would greatly benefit. In fact, YouTube comment sections are filled with degenerates as well, because the dislike button on the comments never fucking worked. So, consider that, thank you, and I hope you're well. Well, I hope for a lot of things that they don't generally seem to come true. Now, there is one more thing I want to touch on in the comments, and that being this. Question, why don't you make this optional for creators? This is optional for creators today, but we've seen that when creators choose to turn off likes, dislikes on their videos, they can be bullied and harassed for the decision. Ultimately, because it's YouTube's responsibility to protect its community and create an inclusive environment when creators, like yourself, feel safe to express themselves, we've decided to make the dislike count private across all videos so that creators aren't pressured to make this decision themselves. Okay, first off, this change isn't optional, it's forced, so I don't know who you're trying to fool. But yes, I agree it should be optional because I, for one, want to have dislikes visible on my videos because of, once again, pity likes. If a creator hides their like to dislike ratio or comments, it's because they want to hide the consequences of their actions, so no fucking shit they'll get bullied for that. And then there is also the brain dead argument I heard a lot of. People can dislike videos in the first second without even watching it, that's not feedback. To that I say, they can also like the video in the first second without watching it, which happens exponentially more often, and that's not feedback either. But that's not bad, it's only bad when it's the other button. Where's that same energy? So yeah, that's all I wanted to say here, and if you guys wanna help me out, you can like or dislike to boost me the algorithm and subscribe only if you want more content from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.